Hello and welcome to my channel. You'll see my gorgeous face in a few seconds, but right now you're seeing some names of some lovely people that support me on Patreon. If you wanted to check out my Patreon, uh, link is in the description. Check it out if you feel like it or not. Either way, thank you for even thinking about it and thank you to these guys for supporting me. Uh, enjoy the video. Fucking can't wait for all the comments saying I'm a plant. Those are always super original. Hey, plants are asexual, are you a plant? Hey, oh, it's Damo. How you doing? How you feeling? How's your body? Cool. Oh, fucking wind? So I'm not sure if you're aware, but the majority of my subscribers come from one particular video where I came out as asexual. I mean, I don't know where you personally came from. You may have really liked the video where I reviewed curtains on Google Images. Maybe you just really enjoyed it when I glued flowers all over my face. Or perhaps it was the constant talk of anxiety and depression that really compelled you to press that subscribe button. <laughs> Whatever the reason, you're here. I appreciate it. Thank you. But as I said, the vast majority of my subscribers came from that one asexuality video. And if not that asexuality video in particular, one of the few videos I made afterwards to further explain asexuality and what it meant to me. And that's fantastic, I love that. I love that those videos help so many people find themselves and that they spread awareness of the fact that asexuality even exists. I'm stoked with them. I'm fucking, I'm, yeah, it's good. But they were made in 2015. And it's 2019. And I mean, they still serve a purpose. I believe all the information's still correct, but things change. People change. So I thought I'd make a newer video to address those comments, questions, concerns, and just give you guys an update, because you're clearly interested. So, am I still asexual? Yes. There you go, you can, you can end the video now. But if you want some more information, maybe you want to learn a bit more about asexuality, or maybe you just want to know more about whatever the fuck I got going on, then stick the fuck around and we'll get into it. Now first I want to start off with some definitions, go through the different terms in the asexual umbrella and let you guys know what they mean. Yep, that's what a definition is. <laughs> Let's start with asexual. The general definition for asexual is someone who doesn't experience sexual attraction, nor the need to be in a sexual relationship. It, it's pretty basic. But it's when you get into the subcategories, everything that's under that umbrella, that it starts to get a little more confusing. So we'll go into that. We have grey sexual, who's someone that lies between sexual and asexual. They sometimes experience sexual attraction, but very rarely, and only under specific circumstances. Or they could feel sexual attraction, but it's just to such a low intensity that it's just not worth pursuing. Chewing. And under that umbrella, we have demisexual. Now, as I mentioned with grey sexual, sometimes they do feel sexual attraction, but only under certain conditions. And one of the conditions they could feel that under is when they formed a very strong emotional bond or connection with someone. And then, and only then, do they experience sexual attraction. That is demisexual. That is me. Hi. Now, demisexual is very different from abstinence. Abstinence is a choice. You are attracted to people. You do look at people and go, hmm, I wouldn't mind some of that. But no, not now. You walk into a room, you're like, damn, 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 damn. But later. A demisexual walks into the room and goes, where the fuck are the chips? And then you may get talking to someone. You may get to know someone. You may get to know them really well. And then you might be like, damn, let's go. So that's how I roll. That's, that's how my brain works. <laughs> like, I literally do not see someone as attractive. Like, they do not exist as a potential sexual conquest, if you will, until I've had a proper chance to get to know them, get to know them really well, and only then will I start to feel attracted to someone. And that doesn't work with everyone, it's got to be the right type of emotional connection. Then we also have romantic orientation and sexual orientation, which should be pretty self-explanatory. Romantic orientation is who you would like to fall in love with. You don't need to have sex with them, you don't need to do anything, it's just Oh, I want a relationship with this kind of person. That is your romantic orientation. For example, my romantic orientation is gay. I like men, I am a man who likes men. However, my sexual orientation is demisexual. Yeah. There are definitely more terms, more groups, more umbrellas, more definitions I could go through, but I'm gonna save that because I actually wanna make a video where I go through every single aspect of asexuality. I go through everything and just cover it all. None of my experiences, none of that, just definitions and facts to help people understand. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested. Just maybe hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, and you'll know. Also, another thing I need to define about asexuality is attraction, because it may sound really simple. Attraction is just, oh, I'm attracted to this person, or I'm not attracted to this person. But there are actually four different types of attraction, and they all mean different things. We have aesthetic attraction, which is when you're attracted to someone's appearance, and you think, yeah, they're cute and everything, but you don't want it to be romantic or sexual in the slightest. Then we have romantic attraction, which is where you like the person a lot, you want to be with them all the time, spend your time with them, and you want to be in a relationship with them, but that doesn't necessarily tie into wanting to be 
sexual with them. And this is very common for a lot of asexuals. A shit ton of asexuals feel romantic attraction, but don't feel any sexual attraction, which can be kind of crap when you're looking for a partner, because a lot of people have a hard time separating sex from romance. So for someone who's asexual and they only want romance, they literally have no desire for sex, it can be very hard to find someone who's willing to either compromise or that feels the same. Then we have sensual attraction, which is desiring things like touching, kissing, affectionate cuddling, stuff like that, but it doesn't necessarily lead to or even connect with sex. Then of course, we have sexual attraction. You, you want to fuck. That's pretty much it. Sexual attraction just means you want to you want to smash, you want to put your bits against their bits or in their bits, you know, do the, do the thing. But sexual attraction does not need to be based on appearance. It can be based on anything. As with me, a demisexual, it's actually based on someone's personality. I actually fell in love with my boyfriend and was attracted to him before I even knew what he looked like, which is a really weird feeling because I met my boyfriend online. So I had no idea what he looked like for like the first two weeks, I think, while we were talking. And and I developed feelings for him well before I had any clue what this whole situation was with him. Luckily, I think he's gorgeous, but I would have loved him anyway. And I would have been attracted to him anyway, even if he was conventionally fucking hideous. My body, my brain just works like that. If I love someone, if I'm attracted to their personality, I want to touch him. And that's pretty much my whole deal. It has been for a while. And you might think, oh, no, you're just not being a slut. You just like, you know, wanting to actually be with the person you love before you sleep around. But as I've already said, it's not a choice. It is really not a choice. I do not see people as a sexual possibility. I just don't see it. I don't think about it. It doesn't cross my mind. And tell, I love them or get close to loving them or am a really, 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 really trusting and close friend. Then I might be like, yeah, we can boff. So personally, I actually think I'm quite lucky that I don't have to deal with not feeling sexual attraction, but still feeling romantic attraction. Because as I said, that can be really hard to find someone to be with. Not impossible by any means. I know quite a lot of asexual people who are sex repulsed. Like they will not touch their partner. They might give them cuddles and kisses, but they won't touch them in any other way. And they are completely happy in their relationship. Both partners are. So I want to make sure that you know, if you're an asexual person who is sex repulsed or just doesn't have sex very much, it is very possible to find someone. It is very possible to find love and and be happy. So don't give up. Don't think that just because you're asexual, oh, I won't find anyone. Oh, no one's going to want to be with someone who doesn't like sex. There are other asexuals. Yes, we're like 1% of the population. We exist. We're around. Have a look. Join some Facebook groups if you're lonely. But also don't limit yourself. You don't need to be dating another asexual. You just need someone who is understanding. And I have found a very understanding partner. I'm very lucky. I mean, I did have to move to the other side of the world to be with him. Yeah, so it's, it's not that easy, but it is possible. <laughs> I'm actually planning on doing a video with my boyfriend about asexuality, so maybe I can get you guys to leave some questions in the comments or hit me up on Twitter. And these are questions I'll ask him about our relationship and about his point of view on my sexuality. And also you can just leave general questions below because if there are things for me to answer, I will answer them in another video. So get to it, get writing, come on. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about me. Am I still asexual? Yes, I'm a homoromantic asexual, meaning that I want to be in a relationship with men, but I only find them sexually attractive after I've formed a strong emotional bond with them. And if you can relate, love it, join the club. If not, love it. Variety is everything. If this video has sparked your interest on asexuality, I highly encourage you to do some of your own research. Google is great. But yeah, I highly encourage you to do some of your own research, figure out things for yourself, and uh, also, as I said, ask me questions. Do the thing. Ask other people questions. That's the best way to learn. I guess that's pretty much all I have to say on the matter for now, so I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I would also really appreciate it if you could subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, you know, all that good shit. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, fuck off.